Today we're going to look at Sky Enterprise Management, the cloud management platform from Juniper Networks. And this time we're going to look at how do we manage and create uh, security policy as well as application firewall rules. Uh, so with that, we'll go into the portal and create some policy. Okay, so let's log into the uh, Sky Enterprise uh, cloud management platform. I'm going to use uh, Google Authenticator. Oh, we're going to have to wait for the token to change here. Okay, so let's look at the security policy that's on the firewall today. And you can see. The uh, policy is all written from zone to zone. Let's expand this one. I'll add a policy. I'm going to call it deny FTP. Here's the from zone and to zone. I'll say from any address to any address. Let's look for FTP and deny. I'm not going to change this yet. So I purposely put that policy at the end of my list of rules and you'll see that the Sky Enterprise Cloud Management Platform tells me that my policies are out of order so I will reorder them. Simple, simple like that. Okay, so now they're back in the right order. Okay, so let's do an app firewall rule. So, first thing we need to do is create one. I'll call it Netflix. Rule set I'll call Netflix. And all you have to do is type in Netflix and we'll find it. So that's the uh, application signature for Netflix. And I'm going to deny that. Actually, let's make this a little more informative. Let's change this to stream. And there's uh, my the rule that I've created. Let's come back over to our firewall policies, and let's edit this one. And this is the policy that allows all traffic from my home network to the internet. And I'll add this application firewall streaming apps. And you can see this nice little icon shows up of an eyeball. And the application services app firewall is in place on that one role. So now anybody trying to get to Netflix will be blocked. So that was pretty easy, right? I mean, it, it's just uh, a matter of going through the forms and those uh, single page workflows are very helpful in defining policy um, and uh, implementing it. So that's that. We'll go back and we'll summarize everything. But uh, that's how you set up policy and uh, app firewall rules. Okay, so that was pretty simple, right? We logged into the portal, we looked at the policies, how to create a policy from zone to zone, how to reorder that policy, and then we went into the app firewall tab and created an app firewall rule and then applied that to a policy, all using those single form workflows, which makes policy creation and management very easy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. I'm Jeff Keen. We'll see you soon.